Hey bosses, we've been talking all about how you can beat the Facebook algorithms and one of my favorite ways is actually using live broadcasting. And this week we talked all about how you can be using your live broadcasting to beat the algorithms. Today I want to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes tour on the platform I was telling you about called BeLive. They just launched their new Studio 2 and with this new system there are some really cool new features so I want to give you a little bit of a tour. So here we are inside of the BeLive dashboard. You actually have the ability to set your stream. You can go live on Facebook, on Twitch, or on YouTube and you have the ability to record offline as well. So you're actually going to click on Facebook and then you are going to be able to set the page or the group. You're going to be able to set a title. You're going to be able to set your caption and you can schedule these posts as well as do them live right in that moment. Now you do have the ability to attach your camera to this. So if you have a different camera other than your built-in one, you can do that. You can even watch this, have the ability to have two of you on screen right down there. Um, and you can see they've got a really great lobby area where they have your content. So you can show images on screen with you like this one right here. And I love being able to do this. You can set it to solo mode. So it's just that image. Um, right now I've got an overlay, which we're gonna talk about in just a second, but it kind of shows you the different things that you can have on screen and to be able to put that up on your Facebook Live, your Twitch Live, your YouTube Live as well. Now, if you take a look at my screen down below, I do have the ability to mute my microphone. I've got the ability to mess with my camera and do audio only. So for those of you who don't like being live or you have a guest who just wants to phone in, you can do that as well. You can remove people from your lobby area. Um, you can remove your images and you have the ability to change the name of the image. So if you are doing like an Ask Me Anything session, I actually type in the number of the image that I want to go up. So number one, number two, number three, and usually a little caption so I know what question I'm about to answer as I'm doing my Ask Me Anythings live on air every single Wednesday on facebook.com slash Social. If you guys wanna join me, get your questions answered in real time. Now, if we take a look over at the toolbar on this side of the screen, you can actually have your guests here. So it's always the same link. If you wanna have guests on screen, send them this link and they can join you. They'll pop down right here in the lobby-ish area and you will be able to pull them up as guests, always the same link. So if you have reoccurring guests, they always have the link available so that they can join you there. Um, you also have the ability to screen share. So anything that you've got up, your entire screen, an application window, or a Chrome tab, you are able to share that on screen as well. And then you have the ability to add media. So you can add media directly from your computer, which is what I recommend, but you also have the ability to add it from your Facebook albums as well. And that will pull up and show within your screen as well. They have a brand new feature, which is pretty dang cool called live shopping. With live shopping, you're actually able to program in the things that you're selling, like your books if you're an author, or your candles if you're a candle maker, or your photo session promo if you're a photographer. If you're another type of entrepreneur, you can put in, let's say, your dresses. If you're an MLMer, which is a multi-level marketer, and you do like Row, or you are doing one of those other 31 bags, you can show the items here, and you have the ability to then list out pricing, um, we can push that right to our staging area. So let me pull that up so you can see what that looks like. Um, and then you actually have the ability to change your different things. So right now, let me let me go ahead and let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to take off my overlay so that, that is removed. And then I'm actually going to switch my theme. Now, because I'm in the classic theme, it doesn't show all the parts. You actually have to do this in the modern version. So I'm going to apply that. And there we go. It now adds in the product, the product description, and the price tag. So you can put that up there so people can see. And you can then rotate through them if you've got more than one thing within what you're doing on live shopping. So let me go ahead and take that off of my screen. Um, actually, I would just go like that. There we go, and that is off my screen now. It's so easy to remove things from your screen. As we're looking at the toolbar over here, they do have the ability to run polls, which is coming soon. That's a feature that they're working on right now. They have got um, some really cool stuff that they're working on with streaming gaming platforms. And then we have the ability to add text on screen. So if you have something you wanna share on screen, you can type it right there and it will show up on screen. I'm gonna show you that in a minute with one of the other features, but you also have the ability to use a crawler, which I love, love, love. And that is words that crawl across the bottom of the screen. And depending on what theme you're in, it's going to look a little bit different. I technically prefer the classic version. I really like how that looks, but a lot of people like the modern version of this as well. Um, so let me real quick change my theme and show you how that looks. So if I switch over to the classic version, I've got my branded colors, which I absolutely love. 
Um, so I'm a big fan of the brand colors. I typically use the classic version, but you guys can also use the modern version. And they've got some other versions that they're working on as well. Let me go ahead and take the crawler off for you guys. And we're going to go down to the agenda, which is possibly my favorite part of this platform. And one of my favorite reasons that I use it because I can actually put words on my screen. So check this out. This is from a recent show I did in my author life. Um, and it has my words right up on the screen and I can just kind of change what I'm doing. And of course, depending on the theme that you have, it's going to look a little bit different and you can customize the colors that you're using, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a minute. And so this will be on your screen until you take it off of your screen. You can shuffle through what you're doing and you also have the ability to, it's got some words on my screen there. You also have the ability to uh, start and just kind of like roll through them this way as well. So we did talk a little bit about changing your colors, changing your branding, changing your themes, which I love within BeLive with the Studio 2, which is something they've always allowed us to do, but they've enhanced the features on the new Studio 2 part of the platform. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've already talked about the modern and the classic themes. You can put your logo in here, which will actually add that to the top corner there. I typically don't do that because I do that as part of my frame. So let me go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to go to my overlays, which is the best thing ever, because with my overlays, I can put different overlays on top of what I'm doing. So if I have a guest or if I've got uh, something that I'm showing off, let's say I want to have my logo there or my catchphrase. Let's say I want to show off my PDF that I give you guys when you hang out with hashtag.kmrobinson.com. That's the freebie, guys. Grab it now. A little promo there. Um, you have the ability to put this right on screen and you can shuffle through what you want to do with your branding so that it matches. So you actually have the ability to put your own logo up at the top corner. You have the ability to use some frames that they've got in there for you. There's a lot of really cool things you can do. And here's a pro tip for you guys. I love overlays because these are PNG files. So they're They've got the clear backgrounds. You can just put things on screen over top of things without blocking your face. But if you're showing off something or you want to do an intro card or an exit card, you can put a full screen JPEG in here and it will cover the entire screen. So this is how I start off a lot of my bookish talk shows. I will start with the actual image and that will go right up on top of my screen. And then when I take that and I change it, let's say I'm going to put up this one next, I apply it and I'm still automatically on screen. With this, if I had something, let's say like an image down below, I could put that up on screen and I could make that full screen, but then it's going to have to go back with the taking it off screen or kicking it off screen. And there's going to be two of us and it's going to be more of a, a big production. So I really, really like having the ability to do that within my overlays. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of my screen here. And we're going to jump back into our branding because we have the ability to do overlays, but we also have the ability to do backgrounds, which I love, 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 love. And they have some there for us and you can customize your own as well. So if you go through what I do, um, let me, I got to pull something up so you can see the background here. You have the ability to have those backgrounds that match your branding and you can shuffle through them in different ways. There are also different layouts of what you can do. So like, Check that out. You can do all sorts of customized things. Um, and now you, I have them for different layouts. So if I have multiple guests on, I can have four things or four people on screen at any given time or less. Um, and you would have different layouts of those as well. So let me go ahead and pop this one up. Let me put this back down and let me pretend that there are four guests here. So I now have four cameras. I'm going to put all of those up in my mainstream. See that we've got two layouts, we've got three layouts, and let's just say there's three of us on here. We've got all these different layouts. Depending on where they are, they can show off the words differently, and they can see us on screen in different ways. And you just have to be aware of how many people you have on as guests. Let me push up that four, fourth person. And when I do, I can take up the entire screen. I can do it kind of like this. So we've got one big one. If you're a moderator and you've got people hanging out on your panels, we can do uh, four across this way, which I love. And if I were going to be doing this, I might change my background so that it goes like this, which is what I actually do for my show. And then my overlay is a little bit different here. Let me go over to my overlays and show you what my show looks like. And I would pop that one right there. And now it doesn't block anybody. And I've got all my show information up top. Pretty cool, right?
So there's a lot you can do with the branding, with the different layouts and with the different things that you are using on BeLive. I've actually recently discovered you have the ability to use GIFs as overlays. So if you are a GIF or a GIF fan, and you want to do some of the moves, you can totally do that. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited to. There's a lot of different ways that I can be using this within my own branding and within your branding as well. So now I'm going to remove these people and it asks you, are you sure you want to remove them? So there's that fail safe there, just in case you accidentally hit the button, uh, which does definitely happen sometimes. And you can, of course, rearrange how you are going to be doing that. Picture in picture is fantastic. We love that unless you've got to lay over the blocks people, which sometimes you do, you just have to kind of coordinate with what you're doing there. And then it comes back to something like this. So let me go ahead and just take this off so you can see, just like this. And I do want to draw your attention to the other side of the screen. So if you look over here, we actually have both a public chat and a host chat. And this is where you see the comments coming in during your live stream. So during a public live stream, Everyone who comments is going to pop up here and you actually have the ability to show those comments on screen. Now, because I'm not actually live broadcasting right now, you can't see it, but it does pop up along the bottom right here. Uh, and it kind of looks along the lines of the agenda words that you put up there, except it has the, pe the person's face and what they have said. It does truncate it if it's a long post. So if they've written like a paragraph, it will truncate that. It will make it shorter. It will show all of it, but you can see the entirety of what they said over in the comments right here. Now, I do recommend for your guests, you are actually having them switch over to the host chat. That is a private chat just for the people who are here hanging out in the lobby. So the people you've given the guest code to to come and join you on air, they can see this particular chat and they have the ability to talk to you and you can talk to them behind the scenes. This is especially great if you have multiple guests on and you're not on screen the entire time. In fact, on occasion, I have so many guests that I take myself off screen if one of my co-hosts is asking questions so that everybody can get some airtime on screen. And if I need to talk to somebody, I can just type in there. Now, this is also great because they, your guests are not going to see the questions and the comments and the things coming in as you are live broadcasting, which gives you the power to moderate and allow them to answer when you want and need them to answer. I've had several guests who have come on and who are watching the comments, and in the middle of answering a question, they'll stop to answer a new question. So I like to be able to moderate that, so I always tell them, please switch over to the host chat in case we need to talk. Please don't look at the public chat. I will moderate that for you, and that tends to work out really, really well for me as well. You can also type something in there if you need it, and of course, in the corner here, you do have your support tab, so you are able to chat with support if you need them. They're really, really great about interacting with you immediately. You can also go onto their Facebook page and direct message them there. They're fantastic about getting things handled for you. So this is kind of a behind the scenes look at your staging area for the live studio Two. I love the upgrades. There's a lot of really cool changes. And the fact that we can actually have multiple overlays, multiple backgrounds that we can change as we go. We can have words on the screen. We can pull fan comments up on the air. I love it. It makes it so much easier for me to go live, for me to not lose my place as I'm chatting while I am doing a live broadcast, because it, let's be honest, it's hard to produce and host a show um, at the same time. That's very hard to do. And so that agenda helps keep me focused where I'm going. And then I'm able to do all sorts of really cool things. And they actually have a brand new feature where if you are having trouble hosting and producing, you can have somebody else produce your show for you while you're hosting. It's a great new feature. I love it. They're giving access to select people right now, but it is coming to everyone soon. So make sure you stay tuned because there's some really cool things you can do with Live's brand new Studio 2. I love the upgrades. I love that we have so much more accessibility now. And my guests, my co-hosts, the people I have on my show love it so much more too. The technology is super easy to use. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this behind the scenes tour of Live Studio 2. If you want more Be Live information or you want more tours of the programs that I use and recommend to my students and clients, make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell, ding, and never miss one of these fantastic extra bonus content videos that I put out there introducing you to the tools, the platforms, and the resources that I use in my own business and recommend to my students as well. Hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you never miss out on that. If you've got questions or if you want me to give you a tour of another platform that you would love to use that you know I use or think I should be investigating, please drop down in the comments below and let me know what that platform is and stay tuned because we are talking all about how you can be upping your game on Facebook, all these really great Facebook hacks to enhance what you're doing in your brand on Facebook to market and create a profitable business through smart social media marketing. I'm going to toss that right up on screen so you guys can see that as well. Right here, we'll pop it up. 
There we go. Fantastic. Uh, so if you are creating a profitable business through smart social media marketing, this is the place where you can hang out with me at kmrobinson.com for all of the fun, the mini trainings, the PDFs, the extras, the bonuses, the courses, and the amazing training videos over on the site. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you guys again in the next video where we're talking more about Facebook hacks. In fact, this week we're going to be talking all about how you can marry your Facebook Messenger bots with your live broadcasting. So how to use ManyChat with BeLive to create a really cool experience for your fans so that you never miss out on an opportunity to cut back on the work for yourself and do really, really, really cool things for your fans. I will see you again in the next video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never, ever, ever miss one of our Tuesday or Friday videos or our live Ask Me Anything replays on Wednesday and the special bonus videos as well. Have a great day and stay inspired.